Question for Carlos. Who has blood according to Acts 20, 28? And what does that entail? I want Anthony to speak on this also. It's a very well-known variant there. So it says, keep watch over yourselves, over the whole flock of which the Holy Spirit has appointed you overseers, in which you tend the church of God that he acquired with his own blood. So some translations there apply it to God. Again, this is a matter of so-called textual criticism. So you can go and check out Daniel Wallace, uh, Bart Ehrman, and others. But obviously, I don't believe the blood there pertains to God. Uh, if you believe God can bleed, uh, and again, when I say God, by the way, I mean God in the ultimate sense of the word. We all know that there, the Bible uses God in a secondary sense, like, of course, Moses, the judges are called gods, God, uh, the messengers, the angels are called gods, and, and so on. But obviously, there is a problem here to do with so-called textual uh, analysis, textual corruption to the text. To me, it's blasphemous to think that God can somehow bleed for the church. So that would be my answer. Uh, notice what Carlos does here. There is a textual issue. I think textual scholars have done a great job establishing that the text really says uh, you know, that God purchased the church with his own blood. And what he says is, if you believe God can bleed, you know, that's a problem. He finds that incomprehensible. He finds that problematic. He's justifying my point that what ultimately determines his belief is not the Bible. It's not the revelation of Christ. It's what he thinks is possible. I would submit to you that you should not let human philosophy and traditions take you captive, but be captive to the Lord Jesus Christ and to his word. If his word says that he bled and he's God, then you have your answer. In fact, Paul makes this very point in 1 Corinthians 2, 8, as I already pointed out, the Lord of glory was crucified. The Lord of glory is a title that comes from Psalm 24 for Yahweh, the same psalm applied repeatedly to Jesus in the New Testament. So yes, God took on a human nature, had blood and died and bled.